I'm Ryan Vaughn, a producer on The Sims 4, and I want to give you a deeper look at Create-A-Sim. We've completely reinvented our technology so that Create-A-Sim is tactile, more intuitive, and much more powerful. I'm going to create Bella and Mortimer Goth, two of my favorite Sims of all time. We've seen them at different ages throughout Sims history, but let's see what they look like in The Sims 4. From this panel, I'll quickly select a face for Bella, and then give her body shape. Bella's active. She's fit, but she's always been a woman with curves. I just push and pull on a region and give her shape. In The Sims 3, I could make a lot of different looking Sims, but I had to work through multiple menus to create the Sim I wanted to. In The Sims 4, direct manipulation makes creating Sims faster and easier. Create a Sim is more powerful, letting me craft my Sims from head to toe. There's simply more to play with. All right, let's get back to Bella. With the variety of facial features I have to play with, I can finally create Sims that look like they truly come from around the world. Bella's looking good. And I can create her husband, Mortimer, in just a few clicks. But I want to go deeper. In detail mode, regions are highlighted letting me know exactly what I can tweak. I can really finesse the appearance of my Sims. With this level of control, I begin to bring out their personalities. Mortimer's a bit older, he needs some wrinkles. And Bella, a great big <laughs> smile. Now let's play with their style. I can choose Bella's hair and plan their outfits. There's accessories, makeup to add, and even tattoos. Sorry, Mort, you're not an inks kind of guy. <laughs> We've added something called styled looks, where I can find a great look fast. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Mortimer and Bella Goth, Sims 4 style. For me, the magic of Create a Sim is in making Sims of my friends and people I know from the real world. Okay, this is a picture of me, and this is the Sim I've been working on. What do you think? Creating a Sim with this level of detail is finally possible in The Sims 4. Take a look at some of the other folks from around the studio. Ah, that's a great looking bunch. But in The Sims 4, Creative Sim is about more than just how my Sims look. It's here where I decide how my Sims sound, move, and behave. I can choose how they walk. Look at that strut. Check out his swag. I choose their voices. I give my Sims personality traits. Mortimer is a genius. He's creative and a bit of a bookworm. I'm going to give Mortimer an aspiration. I want him to be a renaissance sim, making him a quick learner, letting him build skills faster. Bella's a romantic. She's outgoing and active. Her aspiration? I want her to be a friend to the world. This unlocks the gregarious trait. She'll be able to build friendships faster. With the power of Create a Sim, I've designed exactly the sims I want to play with. They all look great, they're unique, and they have real personalities. I'm going to move my sim in with a bunch of friends from the studio and build them a house. Ah, home sweet home. It looks like the goths are here to welcome the team. And Bella's already making some new friends. We can't wait to show you Bella and Mortimer's home when we show off our new build tools. Thanks for watching.